ibo mo ne genti aye keno na ozo ne wuru chita aye su no dalu ne mo chineke aye subo nke chiri azelo ndo mire ndo azu mire atara mazu amu na aye su na dura mana mpo dura mana oli dura mana afu dura mana eke ise 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 aye adukwa mazu na duka anu ma ne ndo aye adukwa mazu Simon e padu dugu pia mi na ezare aye adukwa le anu ma ise All right, the coach did not hear about the Aussie goes to Nilwa. We find when Nilwa, when the line in Nilwa, he has for Mike Ezekume, but the late counsel of Onyen Duma has been named the Kano, and he has got a lawyer Jumako, and he has got some of the other lawyers. Yes, it will a court case made today, and I don't think they have their way of it. So I just um saw the update in second drop. What you much in the court now? If any man and he can he be Okuma has been named the Kano Seaga? The guy could not know. All right, um, Mazi Mike Ezeko, uh, Ezeko men, Kebode, did counsel of Mazi Nandikano, um, did the, did the analysis concerning the court update from today, for today. Akuna wata, oka wali yeni neka ya bifesi wega. So, na sumo chine ke geni ya bifesi wege siya ya, una drop all your own comments and your own point of view in this case. All right, um, thank you so much. All right, over to you. Over to you, sir. The lawyer of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ibob Namdi Kanu, who is in the Department of State Services DSS custody, has said that Kanu requires urgent ear surgery amidst his reported feeding health. Michael Zekume made this known at the Abuja Federal High Court during the hearing of the case where Kanu is seeking an order granting him unhindered access to his personal doctor. The senior lawyer also stated that the DSS has repeatedly refused to grant Namdikanu access to his doctor and has also refused to release medical records of the pro Biafra agitator, even after the medical team confirmed the need for his medical attention. Ozekome stressed that the action of the DSS indicates that it is unwilling to allow his client access to proper medical attention, which is in breach of Section 7 of the Anti Toucher Act. In his reply, the DSS lawyer informed the court. But Kanu is being given proper feeding and medical attention while in DSS custody and therefore urged the court to dismiss Kanu's case. After listening to the submission, the trial judge, Justice Binta Nyako, adjourned the suit to July 20 for judgment. Namdi Kanu had in a suit said he would need his doctors to conduct an independent examination to ascertain his actual state of health. Kanu is praying the court for an order granting him leave to apply for judicial review in the form of an order of mandamus compelling the respondent to allow him unhindered access to his medical doctors to enable them conduct an independent examination of his present deteriorating health condition as earlier ordered by the federal high court abuja on october 21 2021 the express provisions of section 7 of the anti act 2017 as well as an order of this honorable court granting leave to the applicant to apply for judicial review in the form of an order of mandamus compelling the respondents to avail the applicant with all his medical records from the 29th day of June 2021 to date. Kanu listed some of the records he would require from the DSS to include his admission records, medical and clinical notes, nursing notes, observation charts and documentation during treatment or stay in hospital, laboratory test results, pharmaceutical records, radiological scans, images and reports, blood transfusion records, physiotherapy and rehabilitative treatment records, clinical findings as well as diagnosis and treatment prescribed records they are wrong and they are wrong and today the court has had us asking for an order of mandamus compelling the sss to provide his medicals his medical records if you have nothing to hide <laughs> what what harm does it bring to you to provide now the canoes medical records for us his lawyers to say we're also asking for an order of mandamus that he should be allowed to see his personal physician as ordered by this same court on the 21st of october 2021 what has he asked for that we hurt the federal government how can you be the person the agency that arrested forcefully, forcibly reditioned him back from Kenya to Nigeria. You are the same agency detaining him. You are the same agency that investigated him. 
you are the same agency prosecuting him. You are the same agency again detaining him. You are the same agency opposing his bail for application. You are the same agency op 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 opposing his application to be transferred, at least from your gulag, to the Kujie Correctional Center, which is a place meant for people who have been granted bail, as, he, as was his case. So they, are, they have become not just the judge and the prosecutor. They are also the arrestor, the detainer, the prosecutor, the investigator, the judge. And, and you cannot run a country like that. SSS, listen, and listen good. Abide by the order of the Court of Appeal made on the 13th of October, 2021. Letting them be can go. Release him. Let my people go. Moses told the Egyptians, let my people go. They were not here. He was with his brother Aaron. Am I right? They were not here. And Pharaoh, the Egyptian emperor, brought magicians. Anything that Moses conjured, they will conjure. To show their power, the power of man. But it was God in action. Go and read Exodus 8, 19. The finger of God. When the camp of Moses conjured not, not, little louse, little lies, lies in the head, those small insects in the head, when they conjured them, the Pharaoh Egyptian magicians tried to also conjure the same gnat, the same lies. They could not. And that was the smallest of all the feats. They went back to Pharaoh and say, this is the figure, this is the finger of God. Let these people go. But Pharaoh was already deafened. He will not hear of it. When the Israelites were going, God parted the Red Sea for them to go through. And then the Pharaoh army with chariots and charioteers they came steaming pursuing the Israelites and God closed the Red Sea for them and they drowned this is a caveat to the federal government don't let this in now the canoe drown us All right, Dalo Nene, Motukuka, Unuswe, Gaya B. Fair. I'm on the fine name and I do no man alone. Upon on, I do no Macabaro kid drop away on the commission below. All right, once again, we promise to be bringing you the latest gist and the latest update on what is happening in Biafra land, the latest news. I call you no connecting with Telunia. On a Fuka court today, we get a few key to Bastamakia Makiabu court. Drop it on the commission below. All right, 